Hello, Miss Carmen. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anayansi. Good evening, Anayansi. Good evening, Anayansi. Hello. Maybe she's not around. <laughs> we'll see. Or maybe it's raining already. <laughs> you never we know, hope, right? We hope. We, ha we hope. <laughs> because it's very, 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 it's very cloudy all the, all the afternoon. Yeah, it's been very cloudy the whole afternoon. I see that. Correct. Yes. It's, been, it, it's been a raining um, weekend, right? Yes, yes. Uh, from 2 p.m. maybe to 11. Yes. I, I think. And, and last night it rained a lot, right? It rained heavily, right? Last night. Yes. Right. Well, tomorrow, tomorrow night uh, uh, we have a lot of news about cars with several problems. Flooding, you know. It, with flooding <laughs> floating floating floating, floating yes. yes and yeah it wa there was a taxi there was a taxi by 49th uh, avenue right yes, yes trapped yeah by water and it was rescued by firefighters right yes was rescued. very very yeah i mean that's that's a complicated uh, situation right Imagine that you are the the, the driver. <laughs> you are the driver. driver. <laughs> oh, hello. So what would you do? Oh, what passenger. would you do? Oh. What would you do? Leave the car, or I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that's the problem when you're living in El Salvador. <laughs> yeah, the streets become. Uh, uh, how do you say it? rivers? Rivers, rivers. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I know. Unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, right? Good. All right. So everyone, technically, this is the last week of uh, module four, but since uh, we need to celebrate parents, I mean fathers, <laughs> we need to celebrate fathers on Thursday, so no classes on Thursday because it's Father's Day, right? Uh, whether we like it or not, right? Aunque nos guste o no. <laughs> it's Father's Day on Thursday. Um, we would have preferred to have a day off on Friday, but it's Thursday, okay? <laughs> but in this life, we cannot have it all, right? We cannot have it all, right? If you have beauty, you don't have money, right? Or if you have money, you don't have beauty. <laughs> it happens, right? <laughs> Good, Mr. Cesar. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, Mr. Cesar? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. I'm going to need your your help uh, this evening, and uh, and some of you, right? Because uh, for this class, we're going to talk about accounting terms business terms like liability, assets, uh, uh, and some other ones over there, right? Balance sheets and so on. So Mr. Cesar and somebody else that notes about accounting, you're gonna be of great help. All right, terms. Obviously only terms because we're not experts, right? I mean, I'm not an expert. I study in high school, you know, uh, uh, bachillerato contador, but it was only three years, I mean. But my teachers, they, they were the accountants and they also study at uh, ENCO, I think is, is Escuela Nacional de Comercio, right? Like all teachers, you know, all school teachers. ENCO, sí. Yeah, ENCO, right? So I remember, but that was a long time ago, all right? <laughs> Good. Uh, so, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Anayansi. But we need to finish with the past, all right? You know, we need to leave the past behind, all right? We need to leave the past behind. Right? Tenemos que dejar el pasado atrás. <laughs> but first of all, we need to finish talking about the past, all right? So, um, and for that, I'm going to share the screen over here. So. Let me just one second, please, over here. 
Alright, that's my mind with this. Let me share the screen over here. All right. Okay, let me see. Okay, so everyone, just a friendly reminder. So about the one-on-one -on -one sessions, this evening, this is the, uh, the uh, program that we have. All right, so take a look at this, please. Um, all right, that's the one. So as you can see, uh, today uh, is scheduled Mr. Nelson Hernandez, tomorrow Mr. Hernandez as well, right? We have a lot of people in here, right? Last name Hernandez, so what's going on? <laughs> so we have family members over here, right? <laughs> this looks like the assembly, right? Uh, here, the Congress. <laughs> But you're not family related, right? No, ustedes no son no están relacionados. <laughs> Good. And then we have Miss Sarai Molina, Miss Carmen Hernandez, right? For you is Friday. And next Monday is gonna be Miss Daisy Celaya, uh, right? We have a day off, no classes on Thursday, remember, because it's Father's Day. Okay. So let's just start with this. So just to finish with the past tense, I have this uh, vocabulary for you. So top eight things people hate to do in the United States. And let me ask you, uh, what are, let's see, three things that you hate to do, all right? Maybe five things, you know, like some at home and some other ones at your uh, workplace. Can you think of activities or things that you don't like doing at your job or at home, all right? I want you to think about that, please. And then once you're ready, you can share those activities with the class and send them to the chat, please, on WhatsApp, all right? If you want, of course. So um, let me play the audio over here because there's, there's a, a, a track that I want you to play it over here. I want you to listen over here. Okay, and all right, listen up, please. Unit 14, did you have fun? Yeah. Page 92, exercise one, okay. snapshot. Top eight things people hate to do. Listen and practice. One, stand in line. Two, do laundry. Three, travel to work. Four, go to meetings. Five, exercise. Six, work in the yard. Seven, clean the house. Eight, open the mail. All right, so just keep in mind that these are activities people hate to do in, in the United States. Maybe in your case, you don't like to do the laundry, all right? Or you don't like to do the dishes, right? Lavar platos. Maybe people hate that, right? Or maybe you don't, you don't uh, like watching your car. So you take your car to a, to a car wash, right? So what else? Or maybe you don't like to iron the clothes, right? No le gusta planchar. Maybe, right? Uh, or make the bed, arreglar la cama. Maybe you don't like that one, okay? Or cut the grass, which is cut, uh, mop the lawn, all right? So what is something out of the eight activities in the United States that you can compare with, all right? Over here? Or does everybody like to stand in line? You know, if you go to the bank and you see that it's a long line, you know, to enter the bank, right? So do you like being there? Maybe nobody likes to be in line, right? Waiting for two hours, okay? Yeah, I would say nobody likes to be standing in line, but nadie le gusta hacer fila. I would say so, right? I would say so. Um, do the laundry, maybe it doesn't matter because you have a washing machine, but if you didn't have a washing machine, si no tuvieran, all right, so it will be difficult, right? 
travel to work, let's say like being in traffic, right? Or being the public transportation. So it's it's a headache, right? And even it's even worse when it's raining. Y es peor cuando llueve. Yeah? Here in El Sapo. And if you go by 49th uh, Avenue, right? Si va por la 49. <laughs> All right, or if you go by Boulevard del Ejército, I mean, everywhere, right? In any, anywhere, cualquier lugar, but like traffic. Even in Santana, we'll say, so, right, Miss Susana Portillo, there's a lot of traffic, you know, there's a lot of traffic, okay? <laughs> it's crazy. Um, go to meetings, but what happens if you are the, uh, I would say, the, the one who, who uh, invites people into the meeting or like the hosts? Si usted es, el, usted es el, el, la persona que lidera la meeting, right? But you have to be there. But what if you are the, only a guest? Si usted es el invitado, ¿verdad? O, el, o the participant more there. So that's different. Some people don't like to exercise, right? It's like me, Lord. <laughs> yo, señor, right? Será yo, señor? <laughs> Some people hate working out, right? Or working the yard, ¿verdad? Arreglar el patio. Eh, Clean the house, open the mail. Uh, this one we don't we don't use it anymore, right? Open the mail or maybe read emails, okay? Or answer emails, right? Or um, write reports, maybe. All right. Why are we doing this? Because when we think of the past, we think of these activities, right? Activities that we do at work and activities that we do at home, right? For example, you can say. Uh, last Saturday, I went to the bank. Uh, you can say I did the laundry. I traveled to work. I went to meetings the, in the morning. I didn't exercise. Uh, yesterday, you know, Sunday morning, I worked in the yard and I helped my wife clean the house and I did not open the mail, but I answered some emails, you can say, right? I'm just giving you some examples about the simple past. Solamente les doy ejemplos para utilizar estas expresiones en pasado. Okay? Like the, the past tense of stand is stood, ¿verdad? Pararse, stood. Okay? The do is did. Travel, traveled with a D. Travel to work. Go is went. Exercise, exercised. Work, worked. Clean, cleaned with a D. Open, opened with a D. All right? Good. Unit 14. Hold on. Let's Page 92, here. exercise 2. Con Let me just please uh, uh, pause this, right? Let me just uh, pause this. Um, the name of the conversation is I didn't study. All right? I didn't study. So listen up. And we're going to try to practice over here. You see the face of this uh, guy in there? There is a test. And she's confident, right? She's, she's confident because she most likely studied, right? Ella tiene confianza porque quizás estudió. But this boy right here, uh, he's anxious. He's worried, right? Uh, but, you know, online classes, there's nothing to be worried about, right? Like in high school, you know, most kids, they just copy, you know, when, when we assign tests. Pero si mi experiencia en las clases en línea, verdad, en las escuelas o colegios, Pura copia. <laughs> it happens over there, right? Unfortunately, right? Unfortunately, trust me. I have, uh, you know, I teach 10th grade, three sections, all right? I teach 11th grade, one section, and I teach 12th grade seniors, one section, and some students just copy and paste information, right? Okay. Relacionándome con la cuestión del examen, ¿verdad? Cuando uno estudia o no estudia, ¿verdad? Para los parciales y en el colegio o cuando uno, donde yo he trabajado, de repente le doy clases a todo bachillerato, y bien se nota, ¿verdad? Cuando están con el teléfono así, o de repente están en el chat y la, la mirada así medio ida. <ríe> It happens, right? It happens, más con esta modalidad. Gracias al COVID. So let's listen to this. Please. So conversation I didn't study. Here we go. Hold on, please. Page 92, exercise 2. Conversation. Yes. I didn't study. Okay. Listen and practice. Listen up. Hi, Amy. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, so I'm a little tired today. 
Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all weekend. I'm sorry, now what people do is just to watch a uh, series and series and series, you know, an episode after another one, right? On some on demand platforms, right? Si no estuviera grabando la, estuviera siendo grabado esto, dijera el nombre, ¿verdad? Que comienza con net y termina con flix. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do sometimes. All right. That's what we do sometimes. So we have the other one, right? Disney, right? Con el signo de más. And we have some other ones, right? <laughs> Just to give you some numbers, right? Good. Uh, so you see the conversation is, did you have a good weekend? And I'm going to ask you this, and I want you to answer that one, please. So can you ask, I'm sorry, can you answer that question, please, in your notebooks or the, in your cell phone or computer? And then share the answer with me, please, in private, all right? Vamos a hacer esto de una forma personal, ¿verdad? Y aplicada. So this is going to be an applied activity, right? Of course, claro, ¿verdad? Obviamente, you're going to have time to uh, study and let's see, practice this conversation. But right now, let's make this personal, you know, hands-on activity, ¿verdad? Manos a la obra. Eh, and what I mean is, Answer your question based on true information. All right. Respondamos, por favor, esta pregunta basada en información real. All right. Did you have a good weekend? And you can say yes. All right. Or no. No, because I was sick. Or no, because I was too busy. Right. Um, or not because I have to work the whole weekend. Right. No, porque tuve que trabajar el fin de semana. Maybe yes. Because I have the whole weekend off. Or quizás sí, porque descansé todo el fin de semana. All right? Okay. Or you can also say, también podría decir, yes, I had a good weekend. I did this, that, and this. Right? For example, I can say, did you have a good weekend? I can say, yes. Uh, and actually, I had a busy weekend. Right? That's me, actually. De hecho, esto podría ser yo. I had a busy Saturday. I work. From, from uh, I'm sorry, from 8 to uh, 12, I woke up around 5 a.m. And then I also worked from 2 to 4 on Saturday. That's me, right, Jose Alfaro, okay? But it was good. And on Sunday, the, it was a day off, all right? So I didn't work, okay? Esa es verdad, información mía personal, ¿verdad? Que trabajé en la mañana de 8 a 12 y luego de 2 a 4. That's me, all right? That's me. Okay. By my question is, did you have a good weekend, verdad? Respondamos esto, por favor, verdad, de forma individual. So individually, and then send the answer to me uh, in WhatsApp. All right, please. Sometimes we forget, right, what we do. Okay, but in this in this moment, I'm asking you. So try to remember, right? Les pido, tratemos de recordar. So what you did on, over the weekend? I mean, yesterday. Maybe you stay home watching TV, reading a book. You went to church. Fuimos a la iglesia. All right. Okay. Or oh, you went shopping. You went to the supermarket. All right. Or to the market. Fueron al mercado o al supermercado. Right. Uh, you took the car to, to the car wash. Llevaron el carro a lavar. Maybe, right? In there. Or you visited your uh, parents, all right? Or your relatives, no se visitaron. You visited your cluster. So, and then you have the other question over here, right? So what did you do on Sunday, right? What did you do on Sunday? Tenemos dos, dos, dos um, preguntas acá, ¿verdad? En general, Tuviste un buen fin de usted dice sí o no, ¿por qué? Y 
Tal vez si usted responde a la primera aquí, ¿verdad? Y menciona lo del domingo, está bien, ¿verdad? Pero si no lo responde, puede dividirlo, ¿verdad? Saturday and Sunday, all right? You can divide. You can split the information. Can somebody share of what you did, all right? Or if you had a good weekend. ¿Alguien quisiera compartir si tuviera un buen fin de? Lo ideal sería que usted me lo comparte a mí, ¿verdad? Y yo lo miro de forma escrita, ¿verdad? Así cuando más o menos lo, usted me, lo participa aquí en, en clase. Pues yo le, yo le, yo le uh, eh, respondo. By the way, I'm, uh, there's one student over here, like Miss Hernandez, that I haven't replied to you yet, but I haven't forgotten. All right? I haven't forgotten, by the way. Okay? But I had a crazy day today. <laughs> All right? But tomorrow, I'm going to have time. All right? Promise, in the morning. So can somebody um, participate right now? Did you have a good weekend? And if so, what did you do? Or what did you do on Sunday? Ms. Karina? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Thank you. Bye. Yes. Um, me escuchan? Yes. Ah, me escuchan. Ah, okay. All right. Ah, okay. Es que yo lo veo congelado. Yo no... Si me escucha. Sí, le escuchamos. Hola. Yes. Es que algunos sí tienen las cámaras apagadas, por eso es. Ah. So, it's no you, it's no you, right? Okay. All right. Uh, my Saturday. Uh -huh. um, my... Fue, ¿cómo es? Fue. Was, was. Was good. Okay. Um, because I spend uh, time with my family. All right. And I went to the supermarket and, and we cleaned the house with my children. Okay, they helped you, good. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, como es que jugamos, jue, jue, jue Play, como... Played the uh, uh, board games, board, de, de pizarra y luego board, games, board, board games. games, board games, no, no de aburrido, más, sino que board games de, de tabla. No, ok. <laughs> Good. Only that. That's great, that's great, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, playing uno, right? It's a good game, for example. When you have uno, you know, the courts, that's a good game, right? Pues, um, Monopoly. That's a good one, right? And there's one about the Sabo, right? Two, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Good. Thank, thanks for sharing, all right? So you cleaned the house, went to the supermarket and spent time with family and your children helped you clean the house, which is even better. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing, Miss Sonia. Okay. Okay. Uh, somebody else, please? That would like to share? Miss Karina, right now, yeah, it's you. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. Hello? Okay. Uh, during the weekend, I... I... I went to San Miguel. Okay. I went to San Miguel, sorry. Yes, yes. And I visited my uncle. Uh, he lived uh, in the United States, but now he's here. Okay. And we had a great time in close family. Mm -hmm. And we ate uh, uh, delicious hamburgers. Okay, homemade. Made, homemade. Home, home, homemade. Homemade hamburgers. Homber, homemade. Homemade. Home. Homemade. Homemade. Hot made hamburgers. All right. No, I mean, I'm asking. So, uh, you made the hamburgers, or did you buy them? No, we made. All right. So in that case, you say uh, uh, we ate home like hogar and made de hecho ah. homemade. Uh, uh, homemade. Uh, Hamburgers. Hamburgers, yes. All right. Yeah. And we have a great time to conversation. Okay. And, and then I need to return because now <laughs> I work. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, went back to the reality, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. To talk. All right. Good. Thanks for sharing. So you have relatives, you have relatives, parientes, you have relatives in San Miguel, you say, right? Uh, oh, are, yeah, you, are, you, are, have... are you from San Miguel? No, no, 
my okay, you're, you're from Salvador. I have relatives in San Miguel. You have relatives in San Miguel. All right, good. Uh, thanks for sharing, Miss Karina. Could you check the chat on Zoom, please? Okay. But I'm going to share the screen for you, all right? Uh, take a look. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, look Look at my screen over there. You see? Homemade, it's food that is made, you know, by yourself or your mom, your dad, or your family, all right? So food that you don't buy, you say homemade pupusas. <laughs> All right, how about that? All right, homemade quesadillas, right? Homemade uh, hamburgers, tacos, All right? Y ahora ya les está dando hambre. You're hungry, right? <laughs> Good, so it's homemade, right? Because you, you cook everything at home, right? Which is even better. And let's see. And the other one is we had a great time to talk right to talk or to have good conversation you know to talk or to have good conversation All right okay uh, and um, the last one yeah relatives right it's like your extended family so your extended uh, i'm sorry your extended family it equals uh is your relatives, right? Sus familia extensa, ¿verdad? Son sus parientes. Okay? Okay. You can say that. Thank, Thank you so you. much for your time over. Thank you. All right. Um, one, one last participant or more if you want to, right? Yes, I'm waiting over here, right? I'm waiting. Thank you, Miss, Miss Susana Hernandez. Go ahead, please. Good evening. Good evening, yes. My weekends, I have a, I have a whole weekend. I did the shopping for the week. I hope on late on Sunday, fix my plan. I read, I watch the TV with my family, and I did homework. <laughs> you did homework, all right? Right. <laughs> so you, you worked on, on the platform. <laughs> yes. All right. You, you, you uh, did homework. Uh, you, you have to say homework assignments, all right? Assignments. Yes, okay. good. And the best thing is that you had time to spend with your family, right? Yes. Spend time with my family, right? Great. I didn't get the first part. Would you repeat the first part? Because I, I hadn't put my ear. Fix my plan. Oh, okay. Great. Oh, <laughs> good. So you like you like uh, to have a, a a beautiful garden. I wish. <laughs> All right. Yes, you need to you need to invest uh, a lot of a lot of time. Uh, I would say in 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 money sometimes, right? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, in I energy. Know. In energy, yes. right? Yes. Yes, time. yes, I know. Time, money, and energy, you know, yes. to have a good uh, garden, right? Okay, thanks for sharing. And, and what did you read, by the way? Are you reading something special or just the news? Or are you reading a book, like a novel? Um, I, no, not really. Okay. But right now I am reading nothing. Okay. I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, me neither, you know, me neither. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Ms. Uh, Hernandez. All right, anybody else that would like to share what uh, they did over the weekend? All right. Floor, yes, Ms. Floor, go ahead, please. Uh, in la pregunta, did you have a good weekend? Mm -hmm. Yes, I got, yes, I had a good weekend because rest on Saturday in the afternoon. Okay. And so what did you do on Sunday? Casi viene siendo lo mismo, ¿verdad? Sí, pero en, en, they're asking you in specific, right? On Sunday, right? Maybe if you did something ah. different or you didn't do anything. Um, uh, pues, I was alone at home in Sunday in the afternoon. Um, okay. Saw several movies. Oh, you watch movies. <laughs> 
yeah. with your with your with your, <laughs> uh, with your girls with your chil with your children, right? Yes. That's good, right? So you spend time comedy movies. Um, the action. A action movie. Oh, you had a an yes. action girl. You had an action girl. <laughs> <laughs> yes that's good right so you watch you can say i watch um action movies right you know it's a it's a bad thing that we cannot say names of movies over here right no le podemos hacer propaganda <laughs> good all right but don't tell me it's the uh, fast and furious <laughs> yeah there are too many movies already and there's going to be a ninth one right va a haber una novena de, de esos you know de esos carros Good. So if there are no more participants, I'm going to uh, move on. All right. Take a look at this. In a second, we're going to practice this. All right. We're going to practice this in a second. But in the meantime, take a look at this. Where were these people born? All right. Let's repeat after me, please. Where were these people born? Where were these people born? Now, where the lugar and word of like the past tense of be, right? Are pronounced the same. Remember, where, where the lugar y where the, the fue o fueron, okay? Eh, se pronuncia igual, all right? No difference over there, all right? So where were these people born? Donde nacieron estas personas? Y fíjense que de repente el word va de adorno, verdad? Pero este es el verbo principal. But that's how you say, right? Esa es la estructura, ¿verdad? Cuando usted pregunta, ¿dónde nació? Where were you born? All right? Okay, where were you born? And then we have Takashi Murakami. He's an artist, all right? Shakira is a singer. Christian Bell. Well, you say Christian Bell, right? It's an actor. Marion Cotillard. Uh, it's an actress. And John Stewart is a TV host. I know her, right? I know her, him. Um, I think I know her. I mean, this one, right? But I don't know this guy and this one, all right? Now, I'm going to play the uh, the audio and you're going to find out. But can you guess? I mean, Shakira, Colombia, right? Christian Bale. What about Christian Bale, the Batman, right? He's, a, he's like the actor from Batman, right? The, the night rises, El Caballero, something like that, right? So where was he born? Do you know? No he was Google. born. Uh -huh. He was born in the United Kingdom. Yeah, I think you're right, sir. I think you're right. He was born in, in, in the United Kingdom. You're right. Okay, so we're missing Takashi, maybe Japan, right? And um, I think Cotillard. She's French, and this gentleman is from the United States, all right? Ah, here we have the answers, all right? There you have the answers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Good. Okay, listen up. Hold on. Aha, uh les quité la respuesta. Aha, here we go. Um, listen. Unit 15. Where did you grow up? Page 100, exercise one, snapshot. Where were these people born? Listen and practice. One, Takashi Murakami, artist. Two, Shakira, singer. Three, Christian Bale, actor. Four, Marion Cotillard, actress. Five, John Stewart, TV host. Okay. A, the U.S. B, Colombia. C, France. D, the U.K. E, Japan. Okay. But we never got the answers, right? But I guess you know the answers already. So Takashi um, Murakami, he is from, he was born, nació en, he was born in, he was born in? Japan. Japan, right? He was born in Japan. Okay, Shakira was born in? 
Colombia, right? Colombia. Correct. Everybody knows that, right? But now she lives, I think, in Barcelona, if I'm not mistaken. All right? In Spain. Uh, yeah, you know the rest. The rest is history, right? The rest of history. <laughs> Good. Um, Christian Bale was born in the UK. United Kingdom, United Kingdom right? UK. Uh, Marion Cotillard, I think he said, was born in France. Yes, France. And the last one, John Stewart, a TV host, was born in the US. Okay. Um, all right. So what about people hitting El Salvador, right? Let, let's see celebrities, right? Hitting El Salvador, celebrities, all right? Like people, uh, let me ask, Miss Portillo. Hello? Daniel Brooks. Daniel Brooks, he was born in the... Hello, teacher. Yeah, he, he's not, <laughs> yes. Do we have do we have a celebrity uh, in Santa Ana? Maybe a soccer player or a singer from Santa Ana? Tenemos gente famosa, famous people. El Mágico. Yes, El Mágico, right? All right? Mágico González. Mágico González, right? He was born in Santana. Yes. Okay, all right, all right. And he played in fast, right? 100%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, I remember watching some videos. So, who else? <laughs> who else was born in Santana? Who else? King Mas, who else? Do you, if you remember? Finger? No, no, remember. Nobody else. You don't remember, no. right? What about in San Miguel? We have a lot of people in San Miguel, right? Like singers. Yes, Marito. Is Marito Rivera from San Miguel, Mr. Caesar? You don't know? All right. Yes, Marito Rivera, San Miguel. It's from San Miguel, right? Migueleño, right? Okay, good. All right, I think Jose Lora, right? And those people over there, I think they're from San Michael, right? <laughs> okay. Kim Flip and Morazan. Kim Flip, right? <laughs> from Morazan to the world, right? Kim Flip. Correct? Yes. All right. I have a, I have a, I know someone whose, whose nickname is Kim Flip, all right? Okay. Um, anybody else? Miss, Miss Susana, you said Hernandez? Oh, yeah, you're right. Oxy, right? Yes, you're right. Okay. Uh, Alvaro Torre, Tendez. Chulton. Yeah, Chulton, right? Chulton City. <laughs> All right. Yes, you're right, Mr. Miguel. You're right, sir. Yes, Alvaro Torres. But he doesn't live here in El Sabo from a long time ago, right? From a long time ago. What about this uh, lady who sings? Uh, what about Hermanos Flores? Where are they from? You know, Hermanos Flores? San Vicente. San Vicente, right? Correct. Uh, all right. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, you know a lot about this. Okay. Grupo Algodón y comenzamos a preguntarle. Yeah, good. Let's continue, please. I have right. relationships. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good. So do we have another conversation over here? Because I want you to practice two conversations at once, right? Two conversations at once. Uh, in the first, the first time you practice uh, in the breaker room, you're going to practice uh, this question, right? Did you have a good weekend or the, what did you do on Saturday or Sunday, right? Or you, what you're going to do, please. Se lo suplico, practice what you did over the weekend, ¿verdad? Algo que por lo menos esté como más o menos reciente, you know, recent information. That's the first thing you're going to practice. Practice your own information, practice the conversation, okay? And then unit, we're, we're going to practice the second conversation. So in total, you have two conversations and, and you see uh, true information about the first conversation, right? through information. But right now, let's practice this, okay? Firma, escuchemos esta conversación, por favor. Uh, let me just one second. Perdón que vaya un poquito rápido, eh, pero en realidad este tema era para la, la semana pasada, ¿verdad? Paradójicamente, o como sea, estamos hablando del pasado y tuvo que haber quedado en el pasado, el viernes. <laughs> okay, but, uh, ¿verdad? Hay que 
de hacer las cosas, ¿verdad? Bien aquí, ¿verdad? Para terminar, eh, ¿verdad? De, de, de captar ese tema. So, me avisan, por favor, si se alcanza a escuchar. De repente les hago, ¿verdad? Señal. Así como que probando sonido. Uh, all right. Here we go. Hold on. Page 100, exercise 2, yes. conversation. Cool. I was right. born in South Korea. Listen and practice. Yes. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. I hope so. I was born here. <laughs> good. Let me play this again, all right? Teacher, ya no se escuchó. Todavía no le he puesto, ahorita lo voy a, lo voy a poner. <laughs> Thanks. Page 100, exercise 2, conversation. I was born in oh, yes. South Korea. Okay, thanks. Listen and practice. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 2005. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good, too. I hope so. I was born here. <laughs> now you get it, right? You get it now? So the lady was born in South Korea, right? So before... Let's see, studying in the university, she's, she took some English classes for two years first, all right? And uh, the guy, you know, the hairdresser uh, is talking to her and then she uh, tells him, hey, your English is good too, right? Yeah, and it's because he's American, you know, he's supposed to speak English very well, all right? Sometimes, uh, hopefully in the future, right? Possiblemente ustedes, espero que sea in the future, you're going to travel uh, again, right? You, you're going to go to the United States or you're going to speak to American people, right? Uh, or, or people who speaks English. Um, and they're going to tell you, hey, your English is very good or you have a good accent, all right? Because you speak and because you practice, all right? And that's true, okay? And uh, I heard that here in El Salvador, we have a good accent, Right. When you speak on the phone, you can tell if, if you're from the United States or from somewhere else. ¿Verdad? De hecho, he escuchado que el acento eh, aquí en El Salvador es bastante bueno, ¿verdad? La cuestión del inglés, ¿verdad? Eh, sin, sin menospreciar los demás países. All right. So, I guess there's hope, ¿verdad? Creo que hay esperanza. <laughs> Good. All right. So, eh, we have this conversation. Listen up, please. I'm going to try to uh, practice. Chuck and Melissa, all right? Can I have two volunteers, please? The one for Chuck and the other one for Melissa that could, ra could raise their hands. I need a Chuck and I need a Melissa, please. Miss Susana Hernandez. Me, teacher. In Florida, right? Yes. All right. Uh, Mr. Oscar, you're going to be for the second round once we come back from the commercials, right? From the breaker rooms. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay uh, Miss. 
Susana, you are Chuck, and fourth, you are Melissa. Go ahead. Okay. I was born in South Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA. Oh, so you weren't born in the... Um, lo perdón. No, I can't hear in 2005. Mm -hmm. You were pretty young. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was only 17. Did you go to the college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English class for two years here. Oh, your English is really good now. Then your English is pretty good too. I hope so. I was born here. All right. Yes. <laughs> it's like your Spanish is very good, right? <laughs> yeah. I was born in El Salvador, huh? <laughs> and I went to school. Good. All right. So we have 2005, South Korea. Uh, right away means immediately, right? Immediately, right? Right away. Okay. I hope so. Eso espero. So what I'm going to do right now for you, uh, I will send you to a breaker room. Vamos a quitar esto, ¿verdad? So right now I will send you to a breaker room. So you practice the first conversation, all right? Like, did you have a good weekend? And then share with your classmates what you did over the weekend, if you had a good weekend or not, okay? And the last thing is to practice the second conversation in person, okay? Good. Um, hold on, please. Uh, is there any questions about uh, these activities for me right now? No, no questions. All right, good. Let me just make the break on us over here. Just one moment, please. Let me send uh, uh, also, you know, right away the uh, the two conversations over, please. All right, so you have it. Uh, let me just one second, please. All right, and sending the first image to you. All right, yeah, I think you got it. Let me send the other one, please. Okay. And there you go. Good. So I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms right now. So go ahead, please. Um...
Me ha costado. Me caí, se quedó cargando la, la, la sala, pero nunca entraba. No le llegó el mensaje de la blusa, internet. de la camisa. Quedó <risa> rayado. Que rayado se la cara de No le llegó el Veamos. fax. No le llegó el fax. <risa> Sí, mire estar ahí, la camisa igualita a la, la que... Sí, la solo que de otra sección. Ah, ah, es cierto. Se la va a ir a cambiar. ¿Quién se va a ir a cambiar la camisa? Vamos a ver. No, no yo no. Ah, sí tengo una parecida. No sé, sea, no parecida, pero sí ah, de ese color. Póngase, la póngase. <risa> El flecha ya está de rayado. Está de rayado, ya. Está mandando a rayarnos. Sí. Que sea una toalla, vaya a poner así rayada. No he podido conectarme de la computadora, estoy en el celular. Híjole. Entonces tengo como, como que limitaciones. Pero fíjese que ahorita se le mira, pero clarita la imagen, clavo. Así sin está me, Mire, está mejor que la de, de hecho se ve como se ve como un Illuminati, sí, pues, o sea. La tecnología como que no, ¿verdad? De Illuminati. No, 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 es viejito. Lo que pasa es que se ve mal con, por la posición en que está y como se está. Claro. Y de hecho, Ajá, que sí. parece casualidad, pero a Sari también se le ve también de Illuminati. Ah, pues estamos en el mismo puesto. ¿eh? Sí, más que la par están. De raya. Y de raya. Karaoke night. Ya le voy a compartir Noche de pantalla, karaoke. pero... No. Bueno, de, mi, de miércoles a jueves sí se va a poder, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. No hay clase el, el jueves, ¿verdad? No, no hay clase. El día del padre. Sí. Otros le llaman distinto, pero igual, ¿verdad? Hey, no. oh. ¿Cómo le llaman? Eh, no, no sé, ahí después. En día de la, de la, de la <ríe> Roku o cómo. <ríe> Día de la Procu. Es que se lo ganan algunos, ¿verdad? Qué culpa, va, que nosotros las mujeres seamos. ¿Será verdad, ¿Será verdad que el 70% no se hace cargo? ¿Será verdad? No sé, pero yo tuve un super padre, así que yo sí celebro el Día del Padre. Aunque ya no está, pero yo siempre lo celebro. Sí, sí, la verdad. Yo no tuve, así que. que ah, okay. Yo sí. ¿Vamos a estar ahí? Yo también. Usted también tuvo. Un super papá. Ah, ¿me uh -huh. sí. <risa> también lo celebra. También <risa> se entendió <risa> más. <risa> Miren que no me cargan las imágenes. Híjole. Es que el internet ah. está fallando, güey. Sí, de plano. Pues, Menos mal que creo. Tony, Tony ah, no mire, ha sacado pero, las chibolas. La, la pregunta, Miss Claudia, así, mire, y ganan de molestar, vea. Are you, Mex are you Mexican? Ay. No. Y por cerca. Y por cerca. No, no pues sí, como ya tiene la cultura, ¿verdad? Ya bien arraigada. Sí, no. Este yeah. que cuando, usted no está, cuando usted no está en la sala, le sale hablando mexicana. mexicana y Ey, no sean así, Órale, no sean mentirosos. los papeles para atrás. <risa> bueno, es practice, ya regreso mejor. Mente. ¿Te cargó la imagen? César? No, no me carga. Vaya, espérate. White. Is your daughter. On Saturday, I excited in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopping, and then I used to tell my parents. So what did you do you on Sunday? Mm -hmm. I studied for the bed for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test date? I didn't study, just watch a TV all weekend. All right, hello gentlemen and Miss Elizabeth, Mr. Luis, Mr. Gamero and Mr. Tony, hmm. you're back. Know, sure. Now listen yeah. up please, the, the verbs in past, uh, los verbos en pasado, so I had, had, I, I can't exaggerate, you have to exaggerate, you know, I had a busy weekend, uh, I'm a little tired. No, I'm a bit 
tired. No, tired today. Uh, I exercised con una T al final, exercised. No tan fuerte, you know, exercise in the morning. Exercise team, como el team river, aquí hizo algo el fin de semana. Uh -huh. I exercised in... <laughs> Así va viendo I la pantalla. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> Exacto. In the Cuidado, morning. teacher. Cuidado. Cuidadito ahí, ¿verdad? Pelotazo. Ah. Uh, ¿Cómo clean. se dice en inglés? Cuidado. Be careful. Be careful. Be uh, careful. Careful, teacher. Be careful, right? Yes. Be yes. careful. Yes. <laughs> I cleaned. Okay. I cleaned. Did laundry and shop. No vamos a decir shop it. No, mejor chopped. Es una T. Shop. Después de la P es una T. Chopped. Aunque no, no tan marcada, ¿verdad? And then I visited, aquí sí, mire, eat. I visited my parents. Vamos a repetir. Decimos, exercise, hay que hacerlo de forma un poquito natural, pausado, no vayan a ir corriendo, ¿verdad? Que de eso no se trata. Decimos, well, on Saturday I exercised in the morning. Y no me lo mueva, por favor. Lo siento, lo siento, lo siento. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Be careful, right? Be careful, huh? Be careful. <laughs> Then my roommate the night cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. Y después, y luego, o luego, visité a mis papás. All right? Y luego cuando hacemos una pregunta, vamos a, what did you do? Hay que alargar ese sonido, ¿verdad? What did you do? Como do re mi va, do. What did you do on Saturday? ¿Verdad? Es para que... Descanse y los nervios los baje un poquito. Luego, studied. I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't, didn't, didn't study. Study. Como una R. Study. I just watched. No, watch it. Watched TV. Pero en realidad no tiene que decir watched TV, ¿no? Porque el, el, la T del TV la, se lo va a poner. I watched TV all weekend. All right? Good. Tal vez si se anima alguien por ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, I'll be back. Podemos regresar. Pero we have the other conversation. Va a pararnos justo. Do we have the other conversation por ahí? All right. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, gracias. Yes. Okay. For two years. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good now. Good too. I hope so. I was born here. <laughs> Hi, yeah. teacher. Yeah, it's like, hey, teacher, your English is very good. Yes, I'm an English teacher, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> it's like if you're a manager, you have to be good, right? I mean, you're managing people, right? But if you're an engineer, you have to be good at numbers, right? Solving problems, right? Yes. Good. Yes. Uh, so what I, what I need to tell you about this is like, since you do things before everybody else, we're going to pay attention to the the and to the p sounds like in English, we, because we say, for example, we say t tomato, right? T t like that, right? Like a strong T. And with the, with the the, we say like do, do, like a strong, like, like, uh, like that word, like the, the, like that. We don't say like that, no. It's like p p, and, and like the cuss, like that one. You have to say like South Korea, k, k, like that. K, Korea. Korea. Right? Trust me, it's gonna help you. Uh, like where were you born? It's like the b, the p, and the t. I like explosive, explosive sounds. All right. Like, okay. Where were you born? Born. You know where were you born, Melissa? I was born in South Korea. K, you know, K, Korea. So you weren't born in the U.S. No, I came, you know, came, came. K. I came uh, here in 2005. Mm, you were pretty, put, put, pretty young. Yeah, I was only 17. Uh, somebody's asking for my help. Or, and yes, teacher. Sonia is low because she didn't have a lot of battery. Oh, okay. All so right. she will be in another Another time, yes. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. Let me send you to uh, to another room then, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I don't want you to be in the limbo. <laughs> <laughs> all right? Thank you, teacher. Yes, you. you're welcome. Uh, let's see here. 
room number two. Yeah, come with me, please, because they they okay. uh, they uh, requested my help, and I'm gonna visit them right now. Okay. There, there, room number two. There. All right. Good. So, uh, hello again, hello, right? <laughs> yes. How can I help you? Eh, ¿Qué más íbamos a hacer de, aparte de, 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 de repasar las conversaciones? Ah, share your own information, like for the first one. Uh, sorry, for this one. Like, did you have a good weekend? And what did you yes. do? You, you did that already? You finished? No, eso no lo habíamos hecho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like like share what you told me, Miss Miss Susana. Like you read a book, uh, watch TV, like uh, water the plants, right? Yes. Yeah, that. All right. Yes. And now you have you have Miss Carmen now with you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Yes. Okay. okay. Bien el teacher. Oh, bueno, oh. se acabó todo aquí, ya no. Se acabó, ya, ya, el Vámonos, que ya viene el teacher. Se acabó, se acabó la magia del mágico. <risa> Sigamos no, hablando, hermano. Never, mágico, never. Pues. Sí, I, uh, all finish. All finish. All finish, yeah, of course. How convenient, <risa> qué conveniente. How convenient, right? <risa> no, uh, repeat, repeat. Yeah, just because you have uh, the golden gates, you know. Behind you, you have the golden gate. Hey, yes, yes, yeah, yes. That's why. That's why, right? <laughs> this is the magic of the Zoom. <laughs> yeah, that's the magic of Zoom, right? And Miss Susana has the is in the capital of the world, verdad? La capital del mundo, you know. Sucursal del cielo, por favor. Sucursal del cielo, por favor. Good, Miss Redwing, are you working, sir? You working? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, I can I can see that you're tired, and I see you. I see it in your eyes, right? Uh, yes. Eh, eh, les estaba comentando ya los compañeros de que. Ah, ah va poquito a poquito. Ah. Va. <risa> ya va Vamos. saltando la lengua. El primero ya cayó. Vamos, el primero, ya cayó el primero. Sí. Ah. Yo, I, I went to to work. Uh -huh. Checking seven a.m. Sunday. Okay. At okay. check out seven a.m. Monday, on Monday. Okay. All right, today. All right. 24, 24 hours. You, you work, hours. It's a 24 hour shift. Turn, yeah. 24 hour shift. Right, como yeah. la tecla de, 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 de verdad de su computadora, shift. 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 Bueno, shift. Mr. Mr. Jimenez, Mr. Jimenez, sí, verdad? Shift, right? It's, shift. it's your life, right? Good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and right now, oh, so you, you continue working. Yeah. Yeah, eh, eh, me faltaron unos documentos todavía. Oh, they call you, whatever. All right. Yeah. So you are in the office right now. You see, Miss Susana, yeah. you need to you need to prescribe something to this gentleman, right? You need to prescribe something so he could. Holy like... lady. <laughs> <laughs> me condenó. Me condenó, sí. <laughs> Only two goals. <laughs> Only two goals, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mire, gran casualidad de la vida, hablando de, de pláticas así, ¿verdad, Lazar? Uh -huh. Today, I, I, you know, I work uh, somewhere else, right? Uh, from two to four. And by Hotel Continental, in front of Metro Centro, there was this soccer team from, from the country that is going to play tomorrow against La Selecta. Mm. Right? I saw them all right? San Nieves. So, I saw them, you know, uh, tall guys, you know, African things, right? Uh, yeah, Caribbean, you see, and they were speaking English, and one of them was asking the WhatsApp of a beautiful lady that was over there. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> no pierden tiempo. Uh, they don't waste time, right? They don't waste time. <laughs> ya saben que vienen a perder, pero... Eh, a cabal, cabal, pero no van a perder otra cosa. <laughs> yeah, All right. but they were over there, like, and I asked, and then they told me, yeah, it's the, it's the, the team that, who's going to play tomorrow, they said. All right. Obviamente no era un equipo famoso, no, porque hubiera pedido un autor. Era el fast, no era el fast. No. Hubiera sido curazado para pedirle autógrafo a Clubert. Yeah, you're right. 
Good. So if you practice everything, um, let's go back to the main room then. All right. Vamos, vamos a darle un minuto a Mr. Mr. Edwin para que un pestañazo vea. <laughs> no hay problema. Estoy descansado. Ok. Good. Bueno, I'll see you. Está bien, está bien. Entonces. Did you practice already? No. no vas sí. a mandar las imágenes de lo que escribí, Matos. Teacher. Right. Sí, ahorita. Okay. Eh, para que así se lo mandamos al teacher. Ya lo hicimos. Right. So, we have one minute. La conversación otra nos faltó y solo nos queda un minuto. Ah, uh, okay. The things that most people already finished. All right. They me estaban. But I mean, try to practice. All right. O practicamos en frente de todos. I mean, you decide, tocador. <laughs> no, si se fija, yo no lo, yo soy muy claro que de repente los lo pongo por ahí, ¿verdad? Porque yo sé que uno se siente mejor y, y le fluye mejor cuando está en confianza. Entonces... Entonces, sí, la verdad que sí. Ajá, la verdad que sí, pues, y al final uno se defiende así, ¿verdad? De tú a tú. All right. Además, no hay, que, no hay para qué andarle demostrando a los demás, o sea, uno se considera. All right. Good. That's what I believe, right? That's what I believe. All right. Eso es lo que yo creo. All right. Ya le vamos a mandar lo que hicimos cada quien. Ok, thank you. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Hold on. Yes, now everyone is over here. So welcome back, everyone. Uh, I had really good conversations, you know, with uh, all of you, you know, in the breaker rooms, right? Buenas pláticas por ahí, verdad? In the breaker rooms. Okay, good. Um, I was I was telling one the room, I mean, one team that today I saw uh, Saint San Cristobal en Nieves. I think that's the name of the team that is going to play tomorrow against Selecta El Salvador, right? Uh, and they were over there, right? Asking for WhatsApps, you know, to people around. ¿verdad? Today I saw them, you know, in a hotel over there, you know, like getting into the bus. Pero casual, casualidades de la vida, ¿verdad? Mira el equipo que va a jugar mañana con, con, con El Salvador. Okay? Just passing by, right? Casualmente, pasando iba, right? <laughs> and they were over there. Okay? Um, good. So let's continue with the rest of the, uh, the class. And let's see what we have next in here. Good. Remember, as I said, this is a, just a review, all right? Uh, but we took almost an hour and 10 minutes to review this, but the buen repaso, verdad, de una hora. Eh, pero yo creo que sí amerita esto. Y una vez más, verdad, quiero recargar, recargarles, perdón, que lo del pasado, lo que cuesta es la pronunciación de los verbos, verdad, y que usted se aprenda el verbo y que sepa que en negativo el verbo se, se pronuncia en su forma básica. Igual que, igual que en, en preguntas, no se va a cambiar el verbo nunca. All right? Una cosa más, hay que diferenciar o distinguir entre el pasado simple de cualquier otro verbo como I went to, I visited, I did, el pasado del verbo to be, que es el ser o estar. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I was born here, right? In San Salvador, you know? You were pretty young, ¿verdad? Estaba bastante jovencito, ¿verdad? O cipotillo, como dicen por acá. ¿Ok? Eh, she was 17, ¿all right? She was 17, como una canción de los Beatles, ¿verdad? We were at the hair salon, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde estuviste ayer? Le preguntan, ¿verdad? No, me fui a cortar el pelo. ¿All right? Be careful, right? Uh, they were born in China, en Chile, I'm sorry. ¿Ok? Entonces, si se fija, ¿verdad? Para cuestiones de estados, ¿verdad? O de lugares o condiciones, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Ellos estuvieron, nacieron, ¿verdad? Estu nosotros estuvimos, ella tuvo, ¿verdad? De, fue joven, over here. And we have the negative. I wasn't born in the UK. You weren't very old. She was in college. We were in at the cafe. Café con una tilde no es café de bebida, right? It's not a drink. It's a cafeteria, right? What happens is that this word is French. Esta palabra es francesa y se ha prestado al idioma inglés, ¿verdad? Porque como cuestiones así, ¿verdad? De cuisine, de comida, eh, come from um, France, ¿ok? And we have the questions, were you in class yesterday? So yo les pregunto, hey, were you in the English class yesterday? You have to say, no, right? I was not in class. I was at home or I was working. Like Mr. Edwin, right? He was working yesterday evening, right? Uh, 
what's your first teacher? American, right? If, if I'm your first English teacher uh, here at Insafor, uh, let me tell you, right, uh, for your disappointment, para su, para su uh, disappointment, verdad? That I'm not American. <laughs> okay, of course, I'm not American. Uh, okay, were your parents born in the US? No, right? Okay, they were not born in the US. And then we have this practice over here. It says, my family and I, right? Tratemos de complementar esto, verdad? Sin más preámbulo ni nada de irnos a los break carbons, sino que usted solito, digamos, pongámosle, digamos, this is number one, number two, number three, four, five, six, let's see, seven and eight, verdad? Eh, I'm going to read this very quickly, right? You try to keep up, verdad? Tratemos de mantener el, el, el ritmo. Voy a tratar de leer y complementar esto, ¿verdad? Pero usted también trate de hacer el esfuerzo de complementar. Okay? So try to do it, please. My family and I were uh, all born in South Korea. We weren't born in the United States. I was born in city, in the city of Incheon, I think. In, or Incheon, and my mother was born there too. My parents weren't born in Incheon, they were born in the capital Seoul in South Korea. My father was born, I'm sorry, was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. All right. Lo hice un poquito pausado, ¿verdad? Por cuestiones de complementar esto, ¿verdad? Pero en la vida real tendría que leerlo de una forma distinta. Like, for example, my family and I were born, were all born in South Korea. We were born in the United States. I was born in the city of Incheon and my mother my brother, I'm sorry, was born there too. My parents weren't born in Incheon. They were born in the capital, Seoul. In South Korea, my father was a businessman and my mother was a teacher. Okay? Eh, este, si se fija, verdad, aquí no va nada de did ni nada de otro verbo, sino que esto es el verbo to be, el pasado de, right? Yo nací, estuvimos, era eh, businessman, verdad? Uh, Emprendedor, podría decirlo, ¿verdad? Eh, was, o tenía negocio. All right? That's what we have. I'm not going to stop on this one because we have more practice to do. All right? Here. Take a look at this situation over there. Take a look at this. It's a classroom, all right? It's a classroom. As, as you see there, it says, look at the picture below. Ask and answer these questions. Was Adam on time for class yesterday? Vamos a hacer algo distinto. Can I have a voluntary please that can help us read the uh, eight questions, verdad? Para que no sea monólogo, por favor. Alguien me ayuda. Can somebody help me with, with the questions over there? You don't have to answer, by the way. You just have to read the questions. Solo necesito que me ayuden a leer. Por favor, please. Mr. Yeah. All right, Mr. Tony uh, and Mr. Miguel. You say. All right, let's do something. Yes. Los dos, Tony, verdad? Tony el cuadrado we have over here, right? Okay. Uh, all right. So, Mr. Let's do something. Mr. Jimenez, you help me from one to four. Then Mr. T uh, Tony uh, Cabrera, I think, from five to eight. All right? Please. All right. Go ahead. Was that an on time for class yesterday? Mm -hmm. Number two. Sigur. Number two. Yes. Was it English class? Was it a sunny day? Mm -hmm. Was it uh, 10 o'clock? Mm -hmm. 10? Yeah, yeah, you can say was it 10 o'clock or was it 10? Yeah, you, you got it, sir. Thank you. Mr. Okay. Tony? Was Mr. Mr. Carter very angry? Uh huh. Where Cindy and Mark late to class? Were they at the bar? Mm -hmm. Were the window open? All right, thank you, sir. In this case, it is Mrs., right? Mrs., Senora de Carter, right? Mrs. When you see the S, it means Señora de, ¿verdad? O Casada, right? Over here. So as you Hi. can see, yes, okay. So you see, you have to ask and answer. Was Adam on time for class yesterday? Based on what you see in the image, right? Based on what you see, like the face expressions in there, the teacher's attitude and the posture she has, the student's face expressions in there, you see? And uh, to take a look at uh, the windows, out there if they are closed all right if uh if this is a math class or an english class or if it's early in the morning look at those details verdad esos son los detalles que usted va, va, va 
a responder, ¿verdad? En clase, ¿verdad? Ahorita. Hold on, but let me just do something over, all right? We're going to continue with the next conversation over there, all right? I grew up in Texas, all right? And uh, I'm going to play this. And once we finish, it's the same, right? It's the same uh, people, as you see there. In the previous one, it was, yeah, your, your English is pretty good, right? Yes, because I'm American, right? But this one, it's a follow-up. So where did you grow up, verdad? Donde creciste, all right? Because Chuck is, is American and uh, Melissa is uh, South Korean, verdad? La muchacha es de, de Corea del Sur y él es uh, uh, americano, verdad? O estadounidense. Um, pero ¿a dónde creció este señor? ¿Verdad? Mi propuesta es lo siguiente. De la imagen que teníamos anteriormente, si el muchacho llegó tarde o temprano, o si llovió, o si estaba enojada la maestra, todo eso, you're going to practice in a breaker room, right? And with the next conversation, okay? So two things you're going to do in the breaker room. Um, and there is going to be a third thing you're going to do in a breaker room. And with that, page one. I'm oh, sorry. And with that, we're supposed to finish. Um, Let's see. Uh, hold on, because I have, I have this here. Yeah, this. Tengo un par de actividades por ahí, ¿verdad? Pero necesito por lo menos la última media hora para comenzar el tema nuevo, ¿verdad? Si no, a mí me regañan. <laughs> okay, to be honest with you. Uh, así que por cuestiones de tiempo, solo vamos a hacer una práctica más de breaker room del pasado, ¿verdad? Y ahí el pasado va a quedar en el pasado para que sigamos practicando. All right, propuesta es la siguiente. Exercise number one will be this one, all right? Exercise number two, it's this, all right? The conversation. And just to close, I mean, to close this beautifully, ¿verdad? Con cerrar, cerrar con broche de oro. Page 100. Hold on. We're gonna do, vamos a saltarnos el listening and we're gonna do this part, ¿verdad? Creo que lo, lo, lo de la imagen, you know, the image and the conversation is clear, ¿verdad? Lo que tenemos que hacer, but this one, let's say. Find out about your partner's elementary, junior high, or high school days. Elementary is from uh, first through fifth grade, right? Primaria. Junior high would be, uh, or even sixth grade, right? Junior high would be tercer ciclo over here, right? In, or in high school, as you know, right, would be bachillerato. Okay? It says, ask this question, then tell the class. You have to choose a classmate, right? In the break room. Tiene que elegir a una persona del grupo compartido a la que usted le va a hacer esas preguntas en particular, right? You're going to ask those questions. Just one to one person. And you have to write the names and you have to report to me, all right? Or to the class, all right? So you're going to interview one of your classmates and write the details over there, okay? Uh, so what classes did you take, all right? If you, if you want, you can do it only based on high school, right? Based on high school. Si se fija aquí, ¿verdad? O le va a preguntar de primaria o tercer ciclo o bachillerato. I think everyone is going to ask about high school days, ¿verdad? Que es lo que está un poquito más reciente, right? High school, okay? And then, what classes did you take? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué clases usted llevó? ¿Verdad? Según tengo entendido, ¿verdad? Antes, cuando no habían dividido los cuestiones de los bachilleratos, ¿verdad? Estaban los bachilleratos... ¿verdad? Bien especializado, you know, we're specialized, all right? High schools, back in the days, okay? Yes. And uh, what was your favorite class and why? No solamente me va a decir it was chemistry or it was physics or it was math. You have to mention why, because I was good or because I had a good teacher or because the class was entertaining or because I had my best friend helping me, right? Or cualquier cosa, you know, anything. Right, you, you know, this one is memory, right? It's memory, question de, de recuerdos, okay? Memory, right? Uh, what class, what classes didn't you like? And why not? Y cuál era la que usted decía, mm, no, I don't like that class, right? Maybe the typing class, you know, mecanografía, maybe typing class, right? Maybe you didn't like that one. Um, who was your best friend and why? ¿Verdad? ¿Quién era su, como dicen ahora las nuevas generaciones? BF. <laughs> All right. Uh, who was your favorite teacher? Bye. Okay. All right. Who was your favorite teacher over there? Um, uh, just one second over here. Okay. 
And where did you spend your free time and why? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué hacía usted en su tiempo libre? Maybe in, in the school or out of school, right? En, su, en, en el colegio, en la escuela, o en su casa, ¿verdad? O con sus amigos, right? Yeah, we didn't have cell phones back in the days, right? We didn't have cell phones. So you have to be creative. Teníamos que ser creativos, ¿ok? Eh, what was a typical day of a school life, ¿verdad? Un día típico, ¿verdad? De escuela, if you remember. Or, or something out of the ordinary, o algo, algo, o sea, algo fuera de lo común que usted recuerda, that you remember, all right? Eh, what did you like about school? ¿Y cuál era, que era algo que a usted no le gustaba del colegio, ¿verdad? De la escuela, usted dice, ah, ni modo, iba, ¿verdad? Porque tenía que ir. Yes, that's going to be the third activity you're going to practice, all right? Recapitulemos. I'm sorry. The first thing will be this. Primero, esta imagen. Usted responde basado, ¿verdad? En las pistas que le dan acá. ¿Ok? Based on the clues. Number two will be this uh, conversation, which I'm going to play right now. Yo lo voy a reproducir. And the third one, usted va a entrevistar a un compañero, ¿verdad? Y le va a preguntar de su high school days. ¿All right? De su vida de estudiante en bachillerato. Or at the university, if you prefer. ¿Right? But high school, I think everybody... Went to high school. Creo que todos hemos ido a bachillerato, ¿verdad? Eh, at least. Any questions, by the way? Right. Is there any questions for me? No questions? No? ¿Alguna consulta? No? About the conversation is no. just reading. Yeah, I mean, practice the conversation. I'm just going to play you right now so you can practice, all right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's just a regular conversation, Ms. Karina. All right, for the conversation. Yes. All right. I mean, you can share like where uh, did you grow up, right? Donde creció. You can say, okay, I was born. In, for example, you can say I was born in the Santa Ana, but I but I grew up in the, in San Salvador, right? Something like that. Okay, but that is optional, all right? So let me let me uh, play the conversation for you, verdad? Sin más preámbulo, practiquemos la conversación, verdad? Vamos a reproducirlo. And we take it from there. Hold one second. All right, here we go, please. Thank you. Page one hundred two, exercise five, conversation. I grew up in Texas. Listen and practice. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2000. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... <laughs> yeah, he loves, you know, giving haircuts, but maybe he's not very good, right? No es tan bueno, quizá, pero se hubiera quedado de actor. Okay. All right, so let me just repeat this. So Chuck, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up, grew up, I grew up in Texas. Where were you born? I'm sorry, were you born there? Naciste ahí? Yeah, I was born in Dallas. And when did you come to Los Angeles? Angeles, right? In 2000. How old were you then? ¿Cuánto tenía de edad entonces? I was 18, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major, verdad? ¿Qué estudiaste, verdad? Major es como if you, if you study medicine, business, uh, accounting, law, uh, and something else, right? Education, for example. Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? ¿Por qué te, o sea, al final te, te decidiste por, por estilista? Because I needed the money and I love it. So why do you think, um, well, right? She's not sure about it, right? So, como les decía, verdad, porque no tenemos mucho tiempo, practice this, right? I mean, answer this based on the image, right? Vamos a responder basado en la, las, las preguntas basadas en la imagen. Then just practice, all right? The conversation. Page. And number three, 
Esto sí, ¿verdad? Hay que ponerle un poquito más de tiempo. So, ask the question, Salvador. I'm going to take the time. Y aquí sí lo vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Con base de reloj. 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes. Because at least I need to uh, start the new topic or introduce, porque por lo menos los últimos 15 minutos tengo que in, eh, comenzar a introducir el tema, ¿verdad? Que son términos contables. ¿Qué vocabulario por ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, y aquí tengo mi asesor. <laughs> Some, you know, some consultants, right? Good. So let me send you to the breaker room over there. All right. Vamos a enviarlos a the breaker room. Go ahead, please. Thank you. All right. I'll be sending the information right now. Ahorita les mando la información. Permit. Esto es lo que eh, se dobló. Teacher. Y me golpeé. Charros que ya cayó. Hola, ¿cómo está, teacher? <risa> hey, no, no be está. careful, be careful, right? Be careful. Hi, teacher. Hello, yes. Yeah, está contándole la triste historia de su rodilla. Ahí ya la, ya la sabía. No, como, no, no, no. Como usted me, me mencionó de la lesión. Sí. Entonces, al momento de que caí... Eh, la rodilla me, eh, como el manubrio es el que llegó primero al suelo el momento de que se giró golpeó cabal a un costado de mi rodilla y me le hizo llegar el motor Híjole. terrible o sea que ah. buen golpe sí o sea que según lo que cuenta o sea no es nada lo que tiene para lo, lo que fue la magnitud del... ay lo bonito del caso fue el momento verdad, de sí. Pero, bueno, lo bueno es que todavía está contando la historia. Sí, la verdad que sí. La verdad que Me sí. Me gusta todavía el amor. <ríe> Quiero otra. <ríe> bueno. Para gustos, gustos. Ok. Yo llegué a Java Question y también un, un problema. Ajá. Ya, yeah, go ahead. Pero supuestamente ahora por la mañana mandaron la documentación mía para. Eh, continuar con el módulo. Ajá. Yo no sabía. Eh, cuando hablé con la encargada de recursos humanos, me dijo que la había mandado. Y quería hacer una breve pausa porque estoy en un proyecto ahorita. Ah, o sea que ya no va a continuar, digamos, este mes que viene. Eso era lo que yo quería, pero dicen que ya mandaron la documentación. 
Eh, a ver, si gusta podemos hacer, bueno, ahí, ahí creo que como Insafor es bien, bien complicado, ¿verdad? Insafor son bien estrictos. Sí, la última vez eh, así fue, mandaron la documentación también, se fue por alto. Y no se pudo echar para atrás. Y me estaban diciendo que iba a tener mucho problema, pero mejor continuar. Híjole. Continúe, hombre, y, y el otro mes lo, lo proyecto. Lo sí, proyecto. de una sola vez ya dígales que dentro de un mes ya no va a poder. ¿verdad? Es que el detalle, el detalle es, perdón si robo mucho tiempo. Dígame. El detalle es de que eh, fui favorecido con un proyecto de unas viviendas. Mm. Entonces nos están pidiendo un cierto tiempo para, para ¿cómo decir? Una acumulación de tiempo uh -huh. que es que nosotros tenemos que cumplir para la construcción de las viviendas. O sea, tienen que ayudar ustedes. Ah, correcto. Entonces yo estaba hablando con mi jefe viendo para ver cómo podía reacomodar mi horario para venir a hacer unos minutos extras acá. En la noche, va. Eh, tarde noche, por así decirlo. Uh -huh. Tarde noche. Y así ir como acumulando ese tiempecito. Uh -huh, Entonces, uh -huh. el detalle es que, ay, a final del día sí, ya uno... <risa> sí, ya, uno... Porque <risa> tiene que estar, ¿verdad? Tiene que estar ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. ahorita por lo menos he logrado conseguir que para la otra semana, por lo menos estar saliendo a las 12. Para en lo que me traslado al lugar. Le queda la tarde. Ya me queda un poco de la tarde. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Ya, ya está un idea... poquito más descansado. Ajá, entonces la idea mía era esa. Este, hacer la pausa en este módulo. Para mientras hacía eso. Porque tengo entendido de que estas horas. Eh, tendría que aproximadamente hacer. Según cálculo en tiempo. De unas tres semanas. De tres a cuatro semanas. Lo que parte eh, la parte del sanjeo. Que comúnmente conocemos. ¿verdad? Bueno, entonces usted evalúa ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, con, con recursos humanos y... No, ellos ya mandaron. Ay, híjole. <risa> Pero mira, ahorita pues... todavía, todavía no comienza esto. Tal vez, tal vez. Este... Mire, faltan dos semanas para que iniciemos. Ajá. La otra semana terminamos el lunes, ¿verdad? Martes, oficialmente. Pero de ahí comenzamos hasta la siguiente. O sea que tal vez... Uh, aunque si lo vemos desde este punto de vista también eh, voy a tener la semana de descanso y una semana del inicio del módulo aunque se sentiría así como que bien pesado pero de ah, ahí, pero, pero de ahí bye. entonces pero siga, el consejo de, siga el consejo de Mr. Leiva ¿verdad? Ah, haga bueno. este y el otro evalúe que conste que ya parezco como Apache <risa> Sí, no, así nos toca. Así nos toca. ¿A ¿Dónde se puede ver el avance? Si ah, it's, 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 in the, it's in the platform where you have to go to, uh, let's see. Here. Progress. 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 You go to progress. You have course, discussion, and then you have progress. Let me share the screen with you, Mr. Gamble. Ah, okay. Right? Yeah, take a look. Teacher, you have progress. Yeah, course. Course, no, I haven't actually. Uh, course, discussion, progress. Here, you click on progress. And then you're gonna be able to see some graph. You know, your name and, and your email over there, and then you have the graph in there, right? And it's gonna tell you the percentage that you have in there, All right? Teacher, no va a pasar. No, ya me quedé, ya. Así puedo ver, así con. Ya, no, 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 necesito copia. <laughs> All right. So if you don't mind, get to practice, please. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. What are we going to do? There are three images in the chat. Ah, yeah. There are three images. Ah. Yes. Uh, the first ah, one, but yes. así rapidito. Uh, the first okay. one is answer the eight questions based on the image. Verdad? Retrocedo esto rapidamente. Uh, just one second, please. So answer. Okay. Uh, this one. So you have eight questions over here, and based on what's going on in the image, you know, right? Basado en lo que está pasando acá. So answer this one and answer yes or no or why something like that. For example, was Adam on time for class yesterday? Yes or no? Yes. 
no actually he was not on time because the teacher you know is angry and looking at you know looking at him like that right like you're you're late again llegó temprano no llegó tarde mm -hmm. all right due to the attitude over there and then you continue no because you see the teacher right and then he's also all uh you know wet yeah. humedo, right because it rained okay it's raining and then you practice the conversation number two practice the conversation right and three ask these questions to one student in the class tell you you know you choose the student to ask the question to all right and that's it but you only have 10 minutes right so hurry up please okay okay teacher. i'll be back yes. hello teacher yeah i hear you said teacher so you ah, yes. <laughs> In the teacher, <laughs> yeah, superpowers. You see, if you mention my name, I get track. <laughs> Good. Okay, we did the two first activity, All so right. we, we, uh huh. Now you're missing the last one, right? Uh, the interview, yeah. you're, you're missing the interview, right? Yeah, we only uh, practice the conversation and the the, the picture. So yes, this is it. the third one. Yes. That's the last one, correct. Okay. Um, All right. So like, like this, so Miss Carmen, so choose a choose a choose a partner, right? So it's only Flor, right? <laughs> you. <laughs> Flor. <laughs> yes, yeah, Flor. Uh, nice. What classes did you take when you? In high school. In your high school. When you were in high school, right? Or in high school. Uh -huh. Do you uh, remember? Uh, um, science. Science, right? Uh, no sé cómo se dice estudios sociales. Social studies. Social studies. Mm -hmm. Math. Math. Uh, English, you said? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Science, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Science, I don't know, right? Pregunta mi ciencia. Mm -hmm. Not really. Right? It's the basic, right? <laughs> I'm not just kidding, right? So if you want, uh, if you want, uh, I I start with the first question, and you can go with the second, and we can yeah, use the correct. first. Yes. All right. So now Miss Carmen is going to share his I mean her uh, her answers. Uh Miss Flo. Yes. Are you so you 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 get to write. Okay. okay. Well, mm -hmm. the first one. Yes. Well. Uy, ya viene el teacher. Mire, ya viene el teacher todo así, ya viene el teacher. Llegamos a lo dormido, pa. Así me voy a quedar, teacher. Así me voy a quedar. Dale, sí. Estoy friseado. <risa> Congelado. Congelado. Oh, Ay, es cierto. No, que casualmente, fíjese que yo ingresé, ingresé a otra sala y cabal, cuando iba ingresando, dijeron, eh, quizás no la ha mandado el teacher. Y cabal, y yo le dije, me invocaron, les dije, y cabal. Y les... <risa> <risa> yeah, just like that, right? It happened. You know it happened. Okay. Good. All right now you're asking these questions, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, the victim is Susana. <laughs> All right. Susana. Okay. Susana. Yes. No soy la única. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Me agarran de. Siéntase orgullosa. Siéntase orgullosa. A ver, a fascista, a doctor. ¿Qué más le puede pedir a la vida? Sataneca. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Neca, fascista, doctora, ¿qué más? <laughs> Good, all right. Okay. Uh, I, I asking you, yes. what classes did you take? I have a class of English. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Did you take math, science, what? chemistry, chimica, chemistry? Yeah. Chemistry, all right. 
chemistry, you know, biology, biology over there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, biology. Of course, right? Uh, so, me medicine, intern, medicines, surgery, medicine, uh, uh, surgery. Uh -huh. uh, le estoy escribiendo eh, acá, ¿verdad? Eh, biology, pediatría, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Pediatrics. Pediatric. Uh -huh. All right, pediatrics. Um, you study chemistry, you said, right? Yeah. Did you do, do you study math? Did you study math? No. Yeah. Yes. Okay, you study math, yeah. right? Um. Yeah, a lot of things, right? Mm -hmm. Llevamos 59 materias. That's 59. a lot. Yeah. 59. Yeah. 59 classes, right? That's a lot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Good. All right. There you go. More practice. Plus practice. Uh -huh, more practice, yeah. Plus, plus the practice. And so tor plus turnos. ¿cómo se Shift? Tor Shifts. Yeah. Chef, the mm -hmm. 36 hours. 36 hours shift, all right? 36, 36 hours, yeah. Hours shift. And yeah, la, a weekend, a week, the weekend, 24 hours. All right, uh, on weekends, uh -huh. all right? 24, that's a lot, right? You had a, you had a, you had a, a superwoman, right? You got yeah. superpower. You think of me? <laughs> Without eating, right? <laughs> Fasting, right? Yes. With no food in your stomach. Yo, pref right? Yo prefería los ratitos, prefería dormir que comer. Yes, yes, right? Yeah, I heard that. Super right? tired. Super tired, yes. All right. Yeah. But is it worth it? Is it worth it? Vale la pena? Is it worth it? Yeah, yeah. Satisfaction. The satisfaction, all right. Es igual. Ahí estoy mandando en, en el chat de, de Zoom, ¿verdad? La información, lo que usted estaba diciendo, ¿verdad? Do you it... see Grace Anatomy? Uh, yeah. It's the same. Yeah. It's the same. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, Me, I, I also watch uh, uh, like six or seven seasons out of Great Anatomy, but I didn't like it when everybody started dying, cuando les empezaron a matar a todos, so I didn't like that part. So I stopped watching uh, Great and like Grace Anatomy. All right. Okay. Okay. And Meredith, Meredith got sick of COVID, right? She got COVID, right? Yes. 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 It's yeah. All right. Meredith. Yes. Yeah. My wife and I used to watch uh, Grace Anatomy. It was good, right? It was good. My wife too. Yes. There's another one on TV uh, called The Good Doctor. The Good that. Doctor. The doctor yes. ha, has yeah. has uh, autism, right? Something like that, right? Tiene como grado de autismo, verdad? Yes, yes. yes. Something yes. like that, yes. like autism, right? Something like that, right? Yes. The other is the doctor, doctor who? All right, doctor house. Doctor. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> one. Yes, I was when I was in school. That's a good one, right? Doctor <laughs> house yes, and yes, also doggy yes. house. Yeah. <laughs> doggy house, right? With Patrick yes. something, right? Good. All right. Good. All right. Good. You may continue, please. I, I want to go check out another room. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Hold on. Okay. The next question. What? To do some Mr. Nelson. Hi. Hello, sir. For my, for my health. For your health. All right. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Miss Karina. I'm uh, talking about my my uh, the you know, the question. Where did you spend your free time? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. All right. I'm like the both interviewing me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so you should be, you, sh you should feel famous, right? Popular and important, <laughs> all right? Yeah, Good. because I'm writing the answers at the same time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Nelson. Okay. Next question. Well, what's, well, what's a typical day of a school life? Okay. Um, I was, uh, I, Walk 
woke up. I woke at, up. I woke up at six and a half a.m. Okay. I took a shower. Mm -hmm. Shower. And then I ate my breakfast. Mm -hmm. And after that, I walk to my school. And mm -hmm. because it, it was near to my house. Okay. And then I received some classes mm -hmm. uh, with my partners. Mm -hmm. uh, when I finished a school, I, I went to Magico Stadium mm -hmm. because. So run. No, <laughs> because I practice swimming. Uh, no, <laughs> <Wrestling>. <laughs> what is it? What was it? Wrestling. Ah, uh, wrestle. All right, wrestling. Wrestling. Oh, cool. wrestling. All right. Uh -huh. All right. And I practice two hours, and after that, I return to my home, and I, I need to finish my homework. <laughs> and, and sometimes I watch in movies or watch TV. All right, All right. Mm -hmm. good. All right. I talking with my I talk with my family mm -hmm. uh, during the dinner, and then I I got to, I went. Sorry, I went sorry. to bed. I went to bed. I went to bed. All right. That was a uh, uh, very uh, busy day, right? You have, yeah. yes, all right. You managed to, you know, to practice wrestling, to uh, do homework, spend time with family, uh, you know, do everything. Okay, great, yeah. right? Yes, all right, good. Thanks for sharing. So now you, you need to write. I mean, these downs. Uh, Maybe if you can write everything, si no pueden escribir todo, por lo menos como ideas centrales, you know, like main ideas, right? Okay. That's the point. Okay. Okay. All right. So you may ask the next question, Mr. Nelson. You may ask the next question or you can take notes or whatever, right? Good. The next question. Voy a cambiar. Le voy a cambiar, pero dame. Le voy a... Mejor que diga because... Bigger. No es mi fuerte o algo así, pero fuerte se va a traducir como stronger. Uh, strong. Strong, algo así. strong. Because. Ah, teacher. It is not my forte. My forte no significa igual, ¿verdad? No es mi fuerte o algo así. No, it's not my strength. Strength. Uh -huh. Strength. Strength de fortaleza. It's not my strength. No, strength. my, ¿cómo se escribe? No, my strength. Lo voy a mandar al chat aquí de, de Zoom. All right, strength. De, es que, por eso es que strong es fuerte, porque viene la palabra fortaleza, ¿verdad? Entonces, ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh, eh, strength. Ahí está, strength. Ah, uh, strength. Por eso es que está strong, ¿verdad? Strength. strength. Yeah, strength. Strength. Es strong. Strength. Es, ah, ok. Ajá, eso es. My is strength. Ok. La siguiente sería, uy, eh, perdón. Teacher sería, because not is strength. Este, en pasado quiere decirlo. Uh -huh. Because it was not, or because it wasn't my strength. Mm. Because... No, pero mejor lo puede decir algo, algo más sencillo, ¿verdad? Because I was not good, right? I did. Mm -hmm. yeah. ¿De qué se está hablando? De math, math, math English, science, social. ¿Qué no era su fortaleza? Microeconomía está hablando. Oh, microeconomics, all right? Because, sí. because it was not, I was not good at it, right? Microeconomics. Because I was not good at it. Es la forma más sencilla de decirlo. Lo dice because it was not my, my strength. De la forma mm -hmm. lo puede decir. Right? Pero como ya están escribiendo sobre mí, sería eh, he was. He was not 
good at it. Uh -huh. Or he was mm -hmm. not good at microeconomics. He was not good at microeconomics. Or microeconomics was not uh, his strength. Si se fija, es bien complicado. Mejor diga, microeconomics was not. Ah, no, sorry, Mr. Mr. Cesar was not good at microeconomics. All right? Or was not good at it, but no era bueno en. Okay? In the, ya casi, ya know. casi, Miss Claudia, ya casi sobrevivimos, ¿verdad? Sí, me duele mi ojo. Sí. Más porque no tengo mi lente. Ah. Y además en el teléfono más chiquito todo. Sí, ahí está forzando, se nota que están los ojos cansados. Ok. Bueno, Ay, sí, sí, esta, actividad, esta actividad, ¿verdad? aunque no la alcancemos a terminar, ¿verdad? es más que todo de, de como el, 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 como digamos, lo último que usted tiene que hacer, ¿verdad? En, en el pasado, ¿verdad? Describir de algo o algo o alguien. Uh, pero, sí, lo está, yo lo estaba escribiendo mal. Ajá. Sí. Porque en la primera, bueno, pero yo lo estaba escribiendo yo en primera persona. Oh, pero ya están escribiendo sobre mí. Sí, entonces es en la primera. En tercera persona. Exacto, entonces, what class, class, classes did class. you take? Yo le puse, I did take a content class. Uh -huh. Entonces, creo que aquí le, le faltaría algo, ¿verdad? Uh, sería, I took. I did Ah, ajá, en pasado I took accounting class ¿Cómo sería? I, I did no ¿Qué quiere decir ahí? La palabra did ¿Qué quiere decir? Quiero decir que estudié contabilidad No. O tomé clase de contabilidad Puede decir took O study Ah, ok Va a decir, ok, I took eh, accounting classes, ¿verdad? Yo llevé clases uh -huh. de contabilidad o puede decir, I study o yo estudié accounting classes. O de una sola vez dice contabilidad, ¿verdad? Dice, I, I studied accounting, ¿verdad? Como, como la ciencia, ¿verdad? Accounting, ¿verdad? Right? Okay. Y a las clases, I segunda. took uh, this class, I took the other one, ¿verdad? Right? Mm -hmm. Ok. Good. En la segunda... What was your favorite class? With, uh, favorite class? Why? I uh, was favorite class is accountant. Counting, right? Counting. Five. Counting. Five. Counting. Huh? Counting five, you said. Counting. Teoría financiera cinco. Cinco. All right, five. All right. It was very hard. It was very hard. Era muy difícil. It was very hard, nada. yes. All right. Good, good. So you like challenges. Le gustan lo, los retos. Sí. No, en teoría. Yes. Depende. Yes. All right. Y ahí vamos. Ya, 10 segundos. Yes, Nine, I know. Eight. Yes. Seven, Por lo menos 5 de respiro. One, three, Two, one. Esperamos que no nos ayude el teacher. Hey, sorry about that. All right, so everyone, the, we finished basically uh, for the night about this, and with uh, with this activity, we close the chapter. About the simple plus, ¿verdad? Por esto damos por cerrado la cuestión del pasado, no porque maneje, lo manejemos todo, ¿verdad? Tam, también yo me incluyo ahí, ¿verdad? Cada día aprendemos palabras nuevas o formas de decir las cosas, ¿verdad? Cuestiones. Um, so if you want, all right, so if you want, you can send, uh, you can send to me uh, your classmates information so I can check it out, ¿verdad? Mándenme trabajito, ¿verdad? Que yo los, mándenme trabajo para que yo lo revise, ¿verdad? Y les pueda dar feedback, ¿verdad? Right? So, send me information mode, ¿verdad? Right? Tomorrow, ¿verdad? Right? Ok. So, I can check it out and, and, you know, give you the feedback, ¿verdad? Right? Eventually, I'm going to give you the feedback. Trust me. Um, and with no further ado, do, uh, let me just 
mention the 101 stations over here, right? That uh, we have for, for tonight, all right? So today is Mr. Nelson Hernandez. Uh, tomorrow is Mr. Eduardo Hernandez as well. Miss Sarai Molina is on Wednesday. Thursday, no, no classes, right? Because it's Father's Day, Dia del Padre, el jueves, no hay clases. And then uh, Friday, Miss Carmen. And then Monday is Miss Daisy. Y lamentablemente, verdad, porque perdimos tiempo la vez pasada. Uh, o oh, para bien, no sé. Uh, Tuesday, you know, 45 minutes. All right. So this is the one on one sessions that we have. Remember that up to, up to this point, we should have at least uh, section one, two, three, and the midterm completed. ¿Verdad? La fecha, la plataforma tendría que estar, ¿verdad? O por lo menos ponerse al día de sección uno, sección dos, sección tres y el midterm. All right. Son la, para, para que estemos bien, digamos, con los tiempos. Ok. Aunque hay la ventaja, ¿verdad? Que eh, se termina esto el próximo lunes, entonces tendríamos como el fin de semana para terminar, o el viernes, este viernes tendríamos que terminar la section four, all right? En activities 16 through 20, and the, and the final exam, right? And we, we could also uh, do the final eh, over the weekend or on Monday, ¿verdad? Así como arriesgándose a hacer el final el, el, el lunes, aunque yo le aconsejo hacer el final antes de de, de la section four, ¿verdad? Ok. O si lo puede hacer todo, yo lo completo, entonces hagamos omisión de lo que le estoy diciendo. Um, before I let you go, I told you that we were going to talk about the uh, accounting terms, right? Por lo menos en tres minutos, déjeme introducir, ¿verdad? El tema este de contabilidad, right? I mean, these are just terms, all right? Uh, we're not going to do practices or something like that. Okay, and this is what we're going to do uh, for tomorrow, all right? So correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, I know that there are people, expert, you know, expert people over here when it comes to this information, right? About business, but these are terms in English, right? So uh, in, these terms might be very helpful to you, right? If you work with business or, or accounting, right? So the name of this exercise is English for Accounting. And what we're going to do tomorrow, we're going to match each definition with the letter or one of the following. So we have balance sheet, liquid assets, liability, net income, property, payroll, equity, journal, cash flow, expense. All right. We have from A through J. And then over here, as you can see, we have the answers over there, right? But just for a second, in there, right? And now they're gone. Okay. They're gone, as you can see. So this exercise can give you the answers, but that's not the point. All right. The point is to do it, you know, based on this. Uh, like, for example, liability, which are passivos, right? And net income, which is um, ingresos netos, I think it is, right? Uh, and then you have payroll, for example, which is la planilla, right? Uh, equity that it could be also like your shares um journals los registros diarios cash flows verdad la el, el flujo de efectivo los gastos for example and things like that so what you have to do is to match these terms by writing the letter so lo que usted va a escribir no va a escribir el término en sí verdad like for example liability right que son los pasivos right and you have the assets que son los activos right Okay, and lo que vamos a escribir is just the letter. If you think it's letter D, just letter D, right? If you think this one is letter B, letter B, all right? And this, that's one thing, but we're going to learn this in context, ¿verdad? Esto solamente es cuestión, ¿verdad? Eh, I would say basic stuff, because, you know, accounting is a whole different world, ¿verdad? Porque contabilidad es otro mundo. And, and we are going to also study, okay, this, and I have... Uh, uh, hold on, please. I think this is the one. No. All right. All right. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. Here. Vamos a aprender esto por medio de una lectura, ¿verdad? Este, vamos a abrirlo. Aquí está. All right. Okay. Ahí tenemos los términos. All right. So what we're going to do tomorrow, that's the first thing. 
for tomorrow, we're going to read the heading. Do you think the writer enjoys his job? Discuss with your partner, all right? Entonces, después de haber nosotros emparejado, perdón, vamos a cerrar esto. Después de haber nosotros emparejado esto, ¿verdad? Y entender, ¿verdad? Y que algunos de ustedes nos clarifiquen, ¿verdad? Con detalles, ¿qué, qué son los liquid assets? Right? Liability, yo voy a sugerir un diccionario, ¿verdad? Que está por acá, a todos, ¿verdad? Mañana. Yo siempre lo ocupo, todos los días ocupo este diccionario, right? Pero una cosa es saber el significado en sí del inglés al español, ¿verdad? Y otra cosa es en realidad, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es? ¿Verdad? Which is something else. But over here we have some people, right? So and I'm going to need your help, okay? For sure. Porque yo solo les puedo dar significado y más o menos las nociones que yo tengo, ¿verdad? De bachillerato contador que saqué, ¿verdad? O sea, y un par de cursos por ahí, ¿verdad? De, de accounting, pero no cuestiones... Eh, verdad cuestiones prácticas all right we, we're gonna do the matching and then the, this reading part all right entender en contexto and answer like read these questions read these questions over there like true or false y ya con eso verdad prácticamente cubrimos lo del día uno de la última semana all right que nos puede llevar a más media hora la primera media hora en eso lo vamos a, a, a invertir mañana all right that's what we're gonna do tomorrow okay so hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great uh, uh, night and see you tomorrow. Okay. Mr. Nelson, please stay. Sir. Tomorrow, teacher. Goodbye. Night. See you tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you. Bye, everyone. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Mr. Tony. Mr. Tony, finally, you know, we see each other again, but now we're going to see each other again. Yeah. We have been here since we're here. All right. It's in mute, Mr. It's in silence, Mr. Nelson. Sorry. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, teacher. Yes, how do you feel, Mr. Nelson? How do you feel in this module? Verdad? How do you feel? Vaya, teacher, eh, yo tenía problema con alguna... Bueno, me había estancado en la tarea 13. Ok. De la, de la plataforma. Ok. Pero con lo que usted dijo en la, en la, hace un momento en la clase, uh -huh. donde el verbo no cambia, pues allí le da como que... Eh, Logré terminar de captar lo que me hacía falta. Mm -hmm. Ok. La 13 me dijo, vea. Sí. Sí, la sección 3, toda desde, el, desde la 11 hasta la 15, todos son del pasado, vea. Entonces creo que esta es la 13. Ya, yeah, there you go. Ah, bueno, yo me había estancado en la 13, la 14 no llegué. Ahí está, bye. Es que. Bye, you... Exacto, en esta de acá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí es donde yo me había estancado, porque, eh, pa, por decirlo así, en la, en la segunda, uh -huh. yo ponía the day, quiero ver. Conjugaba el verbo, lo ponía. No, en no el... era donde tuve el no, Exacto, conjugaba el verbo. Uh -huh. No, no se debe conjugar. Pero cuando el... dijo hace un momento de que el verbo quedaba en, en su forma básica, entonces uh -huh. ya la logré terminar, uh -huh, de hecho uh -huh. ya lo terminé vaya, mire, gracias a, a la atención que puso de, mire, fíjense que en realidad yo les digo, el, este tema a nosotros Insafor solamente nos da una semana y, y tendríamos uh -huh. que tener por lo menos semana y media o dos semanas para tener suficiente práctica, para darle tiempo de que usted procese la información, apréndase los verbos y las estructuras ¿verdad? Pero yo me, bueno, Ajá, exacto. Me, me, me arriesgo un poco, ¿verdad? Saliéndome un, po, un poquito del, del guacal para, en este caso, si se fija, yo ya me doy por satisfecho de que por lo menos usted, ya con la clase de ahora, ¿verdad? Logró dislumbrar lo que en realidad tenemos que hacer, cómo funciona el, el, la cuestión de gramática del pasado, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. con la cuestión de gramática. 
Uh -huh. Esto es gramática, uh -huh. la práctica es distinto. Entonces, ¿cómo sería el número tres? Entonces, de hecho, ella me enseñó. ¿Perdón? Did you went? Well, did you go? Exacto. Yeah. Sería did you, did you go, go to the meeting? To the meeting, right? Or to the meeting. Yeah. There you go. Y el siguiente dice, fija, es la misma estructura. Si usted hace la frente, ya, ah, esto es fácil. Ya, el bot tiene que ver cuál es el presente, qué es de comprar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Buy. Buy, correct. Did you, Did buy, you buy a car? A car yesterday. Ya quisiera. <laughs> All right. En la busca, no estudió. It's day. <laughs> Did they? Did they study? At Uca. Yeah, at Uca, right? Study. Yes, study, right? Good. Si se fija aquí, el study no está conjugado porque es negativo. ¿verdad? Y eso es lo otro que yo les dije. Ah, en porque es negativo. Ajá, en negativo y en preguntas el verbo no cambia, de forma sí. básica. Right? Y aquí, en teoría, vamos a poner el signo de interrogación. Revisemos. Did you buy a car yesterday? Vamos a ver si le puse el signo de interrogación. Mm -hmm. Question mark, right? Question mark over here. Question mark. Uh, question mark. Ah, los otros ya las están revisadas. Submit. You see? Uh, we make a mistake over here because did you buy a car yesterday? ¿Cuál es el error aquí, señor? Quizás aquí el espacio. Did you buy a did you, No, I'm sorry. Did you le pusiera? Did he? Did he era? El sujeto lo puse más. Did he? Did he buy? Yes, ahí está. Bye. 20 de 20. Ok. Vale, vamos a ver la 14. What's 14? ¿Qué es la, la 14? 14. Ah, aquí son preguntas abiertas. Mire, aquí tiene que ordenar. Tiene que poner el sujeto. Dice, and scramble the following questions. Make sure to use the words given. Aquí sí está un poquito más difícil. Todo lo tiene que usar. Entonces, usted tiene que comenzar que primero comienza con la palabra, el cuándo, dónde, cómo, ¿verdad? Where. De ahí regla siempre utilizar el auxiliar, ¿verdad? vamos a hacerlo más grande esto, ok ahí está, luego va a ocupar usted el auxiliar, después de esto qué va mister? what's next what's the subject where did she go where did she go y luego el complemento last ¿verdad? night, last night. yo lo, lo que le recomiendo es copien y peguen uh -huh. verdad y luego, ¿verdad? Signo de interrogación que nunca tiene que faltar. Cuando usted haga eso, revise que no haya un doble espacio ni nada de eso. Where did you go last night? Vamos uh -huh. a ver si es cierto. Vamos a ver aquí. Submit. 12 out of 12. Let's see. Yeah, you see? Correct. Vaya, vaya. Solo una, una consulta allí. Uh -huh. Ahí porque usted se me adelantó en, en, en cuando iba a decir, cuando dijo la, cómo iba a ir el orden. Porque yo hubiera empezado con el PID, la verdad. No, porque Por aquí pregunta. es pregunta abierta. Ahí está. Y está con mayúscula, entonces. Sí. Es al principio, por, también, sí. ¿verdad? Exactamente, de hecho, buen punto. ¿verdad? Pero digamos que en la vida real usted está preguntando a dónde ella fue anoche. No le está preguntando si ella fue, no que a dónde. ¿Ya? Entonces, una cosa es que yo le digo, ah. de broma, yo le pregunto a usted, mi señor Nelson, yo le pregunto, ¿se bañó este día? <ríe> All right. Si yo le pregunto a usted, ¿se bañó? Eso es una pregunta de sí o no, ¿verdad? Uh, y usted me va a decir, sí, claro, ¿verdad? O no me acuerdo, ¿verdad? Ah. ¿verdad? Pero si yo le pregunto, ¿a qué horas? Ahí me va a preguntar, le voy a decir yo, mm. what time? What time did you take a shower? No es lo mismo que le pregunte, did you take a shower today? Se bañó hoy, ¿verdad? O sea, si sí está usted en lo correcto ah, cuando okay. comienza con did, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso... Vale, hay una esa lógica, también. la tercera. Ajá. Vale, pero en la tercera hay un cambio Ahí, de estructura. Where, when? Uh, siempre comienza con el cuándo, dónde, eh, cómo... Con el por qué. Siempre comienza con esas palabras, ¿verdad? Con el when, why, how, what, where, who. Siempre comienza con eso. Aquí se lo, se lo han puesto en minúscula, pero tendría que ser la primera. When were you born? No, when were you born? born? Correct. Born you. When were 
you born. Y, y la misma estructura, mister. Usted comienza con la palabra de cuándo, dónde y por qué, luego con el verbo, que es el auxiliar, que es el verbo to be. Luego aquí va con el sujeto y el verbo principal, que es born, de nacimiento. Uh -huh. Ok. La única diferencia es que esto, así se dice, ¿verdad? No tiene, aquí nunca me le voy a poner, por favor, when did you born? No. Aquí es when were, ¿verdad? Porque es cuestión de estar. De, o sea, esta es, la, esta es la pregunta estrella, ¿verdad? Lo que representa el verbo to be, de ser o de estar, porque le está preguntando el nacimiento, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo usted comienza a ser? Cuando nace, ¿verdad? O sea, un uh -huh. ser humano, ¿verdad? Bueno, en la panza también, ¿verdad? En el útero, pero es como que es como lo máximo, ¿verdad? El culmine. De, de, del verbo to be, ¿verdad? When were you born? ¿Dónde usted nació? Y la última uh -huh. es lo mismo, mire. Aquí está, mire. How. How were. Ah, vaya, aquí, aquí hay otra were... cosa. Aquí hay otra uh -huh. cosa. Fíjese que de repente van dos palabras juntas. Como cuando uh -huh. yo le pregunto, what time, ¿verdad? What time, ¿qué hora? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. O cuando le pregunto, how long, por cuánto tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo, uh -huh. ¿Cómo me pregunta usted en presente, mister, uh, cuántos años tiene o cuántos años tenés? ¿Cómo me pregunta usted en español, en, 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 en presente y en pasado? ¿Cuántos años? ¿Verdad? Usted comienza con cuántos años, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Vale, entonces, esto cuántos años es lo que estamos preguntando acá. ¿El cuánto sería? ¿Cuál sería el cuánto? Aquí. Oh. How. ¿Y el años? Old. Ajá, how old. Y luego la estructura, ¿verdad? Del auxiliar antes del sujeto. Acuérdese que en preguntas el auxiliar va antes del sujeto. ¿Ok? En preguntas el auxiliar va where antes. You? How old were you? you? ¿Cuántos años tenía? Eh, cuando, por ejemplo, cuando se casó, eso lo estoy preguntando. How old were you? Y aquí lo vamos a continuar, ¿verdad? When you got. Esto solamente es cuestión de práctica. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. ¿Cuántos años tenía cuando usted se casó, verdad? Aquí lo estoy preguntando. How old were you? O ¿cuántos años tenía cuando sacó su, su licencia, verdad? De conducir. ¿Verdad? Por eso que se hace esa pregunta. How old were you? O cuando nació su hijo, digamos. When you when your Uh, son or, or was born, right? Okay. okay, entonces la última vamos a borrarla. ¿Cómo sería? Um, what do you did yesterday? Acuérdense que el auxiliar es el did. Yeah? What did you do? Uh -huh. yesterday. yesterday, correct. All right, that's one second, please. Okay, uh, revisemos. What did you do yesterday? How old were you? ¿Cuántos años tenías? When were you born? ¿Dónde naciste? ¿Cuándo, perdón? Did you go last? Mm -hmm. Did you go last time? Aquí por las diule, ¿verdad? No la terminamos, sería. Where did she go last night? What did you buy? ¿Qué compraste? Y ahora vamos a darle aquí. Mm -hmm. Si me, equivoqué, si me equivoqué, son en detallitos. Ahí está, miren, 20 de 20. Uh -huh. right? uh -huh. Y esta es la 14. Entonces, pasamos de las preguntas de ¿Fuiste a trabajar? o ¿Fue a trabajar? A de ¿Cuántas horas trabajaste? ¿Verdad? Son dos cosas distintas. Una es una, una pregunta bien simple que solo es corta, ¿verdad? ¿Sí o no? ¿Fuiste a trabajar o fue a trabajar hoy, Mr. Nelson? ¿Did you go to work today? En la vida real, digamos que si yo le pregunto ¿Did you go to work today? ¿Va a trabajar? Yes. Yes, right. And, and then, uh, if, si yo le pregunto, what did you do? ¿Qué hizo? Ya me va a decir, mire, fíjese que hice esto. Uf. Si le explicara, me dice. Ya comienza. ¿verdad? Esas son las preguntas, ¿verdad? Abiertas. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y eso es cuando comenzamos. Okay. What did you do? Where did you go? When did you wake up? Así va. Ok. Vale, vamos ah, con pues la... Es cuestión de entender, es cuestión de entender la lógica, ¿verdad? Es la lógica de la gramática. Fíjese que el inglés, en realidad, la gramática es fácil. Lo que cuesta es la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que cuesta del inglés. Bueno, yo he logrado entender eso. 
la pronunciación y, y que de repente una palabra significa muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Eso cuesta bastante. Pero de ahí de la gramática, no, la gramática es simple. Miren, en español, para aprenderse el pasado, lo, tiene que memorizarse lo, los verbos en, en cada sujeto, ¿verdad? Yo, yo fui, él fue, él, ellos fueron, nosotros fuimos. En cambio, en inglés es lo mismo, es el went. I went, you went, she went, they went. Lo mismo. Ahorita que mencionó el, el was y el where, Ajá. algo me confunde cuando son cosas. Ok. Tal sí. vez cuando es I was, what, eh, you were, pero cuando uh -huh. son cosas o, o animales, ahí uh -huh. es donde me confunde. Si son, si son varios, ocupe el were, porque ese es el pasado de are. ¿verdad? En presente usted dice, yo tengo dos perritos, dice usted. No, perdón, usted dice, uh, uh, quiero ver, en la casa hay dos perritos, dice, o, o digamos que usted los tiene aquí enfrente y le dice, ah, estos son, estos son mis mascotas, dice usted, ¿verdad? Entonces usted va a decir, ¿verdad? These are, are my pets, ¿verdad? Are my pets. Estos son mis mascotas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Are my pets, ¿verdad? Ellos son, ¿verdad? O these are, ¿verdad? Estos son, ¿verdad? Mis mascotas. En pasado, digamos que ya se le murieron unos gatitos que tenía, ¿verdad? O, o unos perritos que tenía. Usted va a decir, uh, uh, these were, were my pets. Entonces, el pasado de, de are es were. El pasado de is es was. Igual que el pasado de am es was. Entonces, si usted, si usted dice, ¿verdad? Yo estoy cansado. Va a decir, va a decir, I am, y estuve cansado, va a decir, I was. Si lo pone en cuestiones de cosas, usted dice, ayer estuvo, estuvo nublado, ¿verdad? Cosa, una cosa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yesterday, yesterday, the sky, ¿verdad? El cielo, the sky. Ahora was. le pregunto, was or where? Was. Was, exacto, was cloudy, ¿verdad? Was cloudy. Entonces le digo yo, ¿habían, habían uh, nubes? Bastante. Obviamente que sí, ¿verdad? Entonces me van a decir, there were, were many clouds. Were. Porque el were es para plural. Were. Plural. Es plural, ¿verdad? Para cosas, animales, objetos, cosas así. Las estrellas, ¿verdad? Ayer había muchas estrellas. There were many stars, ¿verdad? No, or there weren't. No habían. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, temprano bueno. puso una, una, una imagen donde estaba el was y el where. No sé si lo tendrá en la mano. Sí, sí, aquí está. De, de como de explicación de gramática. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, claro que sí. De hecho, aquí está. Esta. Mm, no. Esa. Esa, vaya. Eh, sí, por ejemplo, my family and I were, yo hubiera puesto en I was porque es I. Es que es una cascarita, lo que pasa es que ahí somos nosotros, porque mi familia y yo, nosotros. Ah. Uh -huh. Y solamente. Sí, me llamó la atención. Uh -huh. Qué bueno que. La, que... la imagen y vi que decía where, pero sí. me pregunté yo por qué where si decía I. Ajá, es porque nosotros, es como que usted dijera, uh, me and my family, es decir, que yo, puede ser my father, my mom, or it could be mm -hmm. me, my sí, wife, my, my son, ¿verdad? Nosotros, All right? Mm. Uh -huh. Muy buena, pero muy buena consulta esa, la verdad. Sí, pero, es que tenía pendiente de no, que no me olvidara antes de que usted fuera. Uh -huh. <risa> Sí, 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 no, y eso es buen detalle, fíjese, porque cualquiera puede decir, my family and I are, porque te dice, ah, con el where, perdón, eh, porque uh -huh. que okay, I es con el was, ¿verdad? No, pero en este caso es where, pero ¿por qué where? Ah, porque somos nosotros, no solamente soy yo. It's my family, right? right? Many people, plural, plural. Plural. Yes, por eso es. Ah, uh, ok. Right? No, pues sí, son las preguntas que tenía. Nice. So, I'm glad, yes, I'm glad I was able to help you, right? Y lo, lo que queda es just practice. Y usted encuentra la lógica. Okay, that's it. Desde aquí ya, aquí me voy. That's it. Mm -hmm. Lo demás queda just pronunciation and just learn 
more verbs y aprender su mapa. ¿Verdad? Oh. Con tal la necesidad, right? Lo que usted necesite, así se va a ir aprendiendo. All right? The necessity. Okay? Okay. So I gotta finish the meeting already because it's time to go to sleep. All right? Okay. Thank you, Tisha. So hope to see you tomorrow, Mr. Nelson. All right? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.